Welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. My compadre from the NFL Network, NFL Media Group, NFL Game Day Live every Sunday with this man on NFL Network at 1 p.m. Eastern. Good to see you again, Eric Davis. How are you? I'm well. What do you make of I can and Polly being named a captain by Rex Ryan? Provocative. He says he does it with everybody. What do you think? Does... <sighs> That's what he does. It's no big deal. Shouldn't bother him. Okay, well, but does this work with, does this get the players riled up? There Are there people in the Bills locker room that go, yeah, Rex, we're going to really try and beat the Jets harder now? Does this sort of stuff work? No. <laughs> It doesn't, but if there's one guy on the team that you can bother with it, why not? I mean, it's no different. Jeff Fisher put all the uh, draft picks out there. Yeah, for our yeah, RG3. it's like if I can if I can get under your skin, mm -hmm. I'm going to get under your skin because you know this game. It's not about the physical; it's about the mental. So if I can do one thing that might irritate one guy mm -hmm. for one play. Man, try it. Why not? That's yeah. what coaches do. So should Todd Bowles <laughs> put the C on Gino and send him out there and say stand right across him? Should Todd Bowles do that, even though that might be out of character for, for Todd Bowles? Uh, Todd's not going to do that. I don't think he should do that. I don't, I, because that's not who he is. See, that, that's the thing. Now you, are, you become the one guy that he, whose skin he got under. That's how your players will view it. Ah, you see what I'm saying? I see. What if you you're do saying. something out of character, just go out and just do what you do, and that's not who Todd is. So who wins tomorrow night? What do you think about this game, Bills at Jets? It's a big one, man. And that standings right now: five and three Jets, four and four Bills. Um, it's a huge one. Uh, how healthy is uh, Shady Shoulder? Uh, that's going to be a, a big part of it. Um, and um, but that's really <laughs> the biggest part of it, you know. You think so, big, because because if Shady is there, then Tyrod Taylor and everything else works well. That's that's what they brought him in for. They want to run the ball, play the deep, play uh, solid defense, control the clock, and both of these teams mirror one another. They're both going to try to do that. I would give the advantage probably to the Jets. It seems like you think it's like a coin toss. Like I think it's, it's a coin, coin toss. It's, I think it's a flip. Um, if Shady has a, a day. And breaks off a couple plays like he he did last week, then that right there, you know, can um, swing it. Let's talk about the other game in MetLife: Patriots at Giants. You know, it's all going to be built up. Here's the team that's been the Achilles heel, the kryptonite <laughs> for Tom Brady and Belichick. Here's Eli and Coughlin. It's they, not a Super Bowl, right? So and, and that's the Patriots true. are way better. So you don't think? <laughs> you, do you, you? How do you think it's going to play out on Sunday between these two teams? Then uh, I think it would be a nice methodical mashing. Of the Giants, I, I, that's it. It's just going to be surgical, and that's what they're they're all better. The pa the Patriots are a better club right now. Mm -hmm. The teams that beat the Giants were teams. I, I mean, the teams that beat the Patriots that the Giants had in the past were teams that could rush the passer with their front four, put a lot of pressure on Brady, and make him uncomfortable. They can't do that now. And if they try to blitz him, he is going to destroy them. So they're they are a better ball club. So I, it's going to be just a slow, grinding death by paper cut death for the by, Giants. I've got Eric Davis here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Do you think the LaMarcus Joyner hit on Teddy Bridgewater was dirty? No, I don't think it was dirty. I don't think it was dirty. I think the game is played at extremely fast speeds, the pace and it, of which a guy – the, the the time in which a guy has to decide whether or not this quarterback is going to slide mm -hmm. or continue to run, when you have a quarterback like a Teddy, Br Teddy Bridgewater that can run the ball, that we know is a very good athlete and can do some things with his legs, you have to decide if you're going to go down and try to avoid the guy or not. That's going to happen. These guys are going to get hit. I don't think it's dirty. I, I really don't believe it's – I don't believe you're going out trying to get the guy in that situation. So what is Rodney Harrison saying? Rodney's saying what he wants to say. I, I mean, that's that's how he feels about it. Um, well, he's saying it's it's not just a dirty hit, but it's just systemic of a Jeff Fisher run program. Uh, Jeff and, Fisher. He's saying what he wants to say. Do I think that Jeff Fisher? I, I played for Jeff. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was my DB coach. We were in the same room. Uh, do I think Jeff wants you to play hard? Do I think he wants you to intimidate? Do I think he wants you? to hit someone every single time you get a chance to hit them? Yes. Do I want, does he want you to know that you tried to hit them? You intended to hit them? Yes. Does he want you to go out there and hurt somebody? Um, does he want you to go out uh, and try to do something against the rules? I don't think that's, that's something that he's coaching. What about Greg Williams? That's, that's it. I mean, who's been, who had, was, 
kicked out of the league for a year. What, what Killed Greg, the head being his That's mantra. coach talk. That's coach talk. We, if we want to get into that, that's coach talk. I, okay. th that, is not, that is not... He is not... These are just terms behind the rope that guys know. He's not saying go out there and try to break a guy's neck. He's not trying to say go out there and blow a guy's knee. He's trying to say take this guy out, make him think about this, put this into his head, pl play the game that way. Because as a player, you know that those things can happen to you, mm -hmm. and you're not, and and you know, and that coach knows that that you know that you're not going to sit here and listen to him tell you to go out here and try to hurt a guy, knowing that those guys could do the same things to you, knowing that if it shows up on film, that that is going to come back around to you, because guys can police that. I, I can I can stop you from trying to take my my knees out. Trust me, I'll get you. It's, that's a really simple thing. If you don't want a guy doing something dirty in the NFL, you stop him. You don't wait for the refs to stop them. There's an interesting aspect about policing right now with Wes Welker, with him coming back, that some there should be some form of police, whether it's the league, whether it's the Players Association, that tells mm -hmm. him, you can't, don't play anymore, Wes. Don't play anymore. But he wants to play. So where do you stand <sighs> on this issue? Where do I stand on this? Save him from himself. I've said it behind the scenes. Now I'm in front of a camera and in front of a microphone. I will say it. Save him from himself. Uh, all of these protocols are put in place that are supposed to protect players from themselves. How many times does a guy have to walk off the field dizzy before you say it can't? he can't do it? You just had a doctor. Doctors are looking at Dennis Pitta, right, saying that your hip is to a point to where you may not, you got to think about not doing this. Why not with the guy's head? They put him on IR um, an hour ago, by yeah. the way. It looks yeah. like his career might be yeah. over. Yeah, so why not do that with the guy's head? Save Wes. I, I understand how difficult, oh, you know what? See, I can't say that. I don't understand how difficult it can be for the game to be taken away from you because it wasn't taken away from me. I played until I didn't want to play anymore. I would imagine that's a very difficult thing for players to go to when you've been great at something and it's all you know and you want to do it one more time and feel and feel like because you feel like you can still be great at it. But man, if your head's soft, you got to stop. Well, this thing is going to be this is going to be a, a topic of discussion even greater between now and Christmas. You know, the movie Concussion is coming out. Mm -hmm. It was just debuted here in Los Angeles last night. We're going to hear more and more and more about this in spots that normally don't talk about this subject. And here comes a guy that suffered so many of them coming back and playing. And it's going to be thrown on the league to say, why are you letting him back in? But what, what are they supposed to do, right? Eric, I mean, who... Should, I agree. Shouldn't the, shouldn't the union essentially say that we, we will not allow you your union card? I mean, isn't that a possibility that the other side of this equation, the players, take care of there's, themselves? They police themselves? There's a possibility, Is, but you, no, that's not going to happen. Why? That, that's uh, because the union's sole purpose is to take care of the player. Well, that you're, and, you're I, talking but, about. But it's going to be on. But that's going to be on the field. That's going to be as far as contractual situations. That's going to be as far as appeals and, and legal, legality of what's happening to them in situations when they get suspended. It's never going to be. I don't. I don't think it would ever be to a point to where it's going to say you can no longer play the game, because it, you know you open. You, you open a corridor that then is going to start allowing other things to fall under that umbrella. That umbrella. Yeah. It's just, it's quite the conundrum, is yes. it not, sir? Yes. Do, do players have to be a part of the union? Can you opt out of being a member of the union? Um, still, you can, right? Of course you have you, to be part of the union. You have to be a part of the union. There, Everyone's going to do it. There are certain states, you know, non-union states, but everyone's a part of the union. So wasn't Jordan not part of the NBA players? Like, that's why he his his likeness and rights weren't given up? I thought players could opt out if they wanted to. I don't know the answer to that question. Yeah, uh, you know, once upon a time, you you know, the states that were non-union states, you had the option. Got it. Um, it's just a... But, yeah, I mean, but, I, you know, I don't. I doubt if you're going to find a guy who's not in it now. Well, I just hope if, if, that you know he comes back and he doesn't get, he doesn't get hurt. I no, mean, no, I hope so. I because apparently he's financially set. He's not doing this for money. No, he's not doing. I don't think he's doing it for money I, at, at all. Like I say, it's you know, as human beings, there are very few things that we are great at. Uh, human beings are the only species on the planet that don't have to specialize in anything to survive. I mean, I, I mean, if, if you are a big cat, if you're a big cat and you can't hunt. You die. Mm -hmm. 
You, you know, if you're an insect and you can't find a certain leaf that you need to, leave, to live, you die. Yeah. Human beings can be subpar and live to be 90. No, honestly. So, are you talking about backup quarterbacks? So, so no, I'm just talking, I'm just talking, so, so at, when you find your niche and yeah. you become great at something, when you can live an entire life and never be even average and survive, it's hard to walk away from that. We're mixing it up. We're fat mouthing, as you will, with Eric David. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.